Hey there, Posse. Oh, for those of you who, who uh, don't know that much about mead, this one's going to, to be a down and dirty on what it is. Is it any good? <laughs> and, and does anybody drink it? Now, you may be surprised at its popularity, and we may even learn something together. This one was really interesting for me. Are you ready? Come on, let's go. Hey there, Posse. I'm Pierre, and welcome to Ashley Wine Consultants. Now, before we get started uh, into mead, uh, we need to address a similar beverage, which is Glog. Now, you can buy Glog in a wine shop or grocery store, or actually, you can make it yourself. Glog is typically made with red wine, sugar, spices like uh, cinnamon, uh, cloves, uh, and ginger. Uh, then. Uh, actually, for a little kick, we usually add something, for, you know, for medicinal purposes, you know, like vodka or brandy. It's usually made by, by heating the wine with, with the spices and sugar. You can get recipes, actually a lot of recipes online. Everybody has their, their own recipe, and some may include, you know, almonds, and we also add raisins uh, and some, some uh, citrus peels. Now. Glog is traditional, a traditional Scandinavian drink. It's especially popular during the, the Christmas season. It's a little bit out of the uh, ordinary and, and adds a nice holiday aroma to your, your house along with all the other uh, foods that uh, you're cooking or baking. Now when it comes to, to mead, this is what we've got. Now contrary uh, to what some people believe, mead is primarily made from fermented or fermenting honey and water, the, uh, plus other ingredients like uh, fruits and spices and grains, or actually even hops are added for additional flavor. Now the fermentation process of mead relies on the natural sugars found in honey. Uh, like wine, yeast is, is used to convert the sugars uh, into alcohol. Uh, there's a lot of different types of, of mead, including uh, traditional mead, uh, just honey, water, and yeast, uh, uh, mellow mel, that's uh, mead with fruit and uh, methagalin, which is mead with spices, and, and then also you have sizer, which is mead with, with apples, apple juice or, or cider, apple cider. Now, mead has ancient origins and was, was uh, consumed by, by various cultures, including uh, the Norse, the Celts, and, and the Greeks. Now, it can be enjoyed year round, but its popularity really tends to, to go seasonally. Is particularly popular during uh, the, the, the colder months and particularly around the holidays. Mead's warming qualities and rich flavors make it a, a, a favorite during winter holidays like Christmas and Yule. How are you doing there? Is this information making any sense? <laughs> if it is, write Asti in the comments. Now, in addition to, to certain seasons, mead enjoys significant popularity at certain events like a Renaissance fairs, uh, medieval festivals, and, and other historical sort of reenactments throughout the year. Uh, Viking festivals, Celtic uh, celebrations uh, like May Day, and, and of course, Halloween. Folks, if you haven't been to, to one of these festivals or, or fairs, you really ought to go. They're a ton of fun. A lot of people really get into them. It's really well, fun to see, you know, all the different costumes and paraphernalia associated with, with all these celebrations. <laughs> you know, if you decide to go, dress the part. You don't have to, to go hog wild, but uh, it adds both to the, to the fun and the experience. Oh, and if you do go, Send us a, a photo on Instagram. Now, interestingly, uh, there are also several general trends that have, have enhanced the, the popularity of mead. Now, first is the, the craft beverage movement. Uh, this holds true in, in especially liquor stores, uh, meaderies, and, and bars. 
Now, meaderies are, are nothing more than just a mead version of wineries or distilleries. They're popping up all over the place. Uh, second is home brewing. Mead is a popular choice uh, among home brewers because of its, of its relatively simple production procedures and uh, the, the creative freedom it offers in terms of flavors and ingredients. It's definitely a niche market, but you also have number three, uh, which is historical and, and cultural interest. <laughs> you know, renewed interest in historical and medieval cultures uh, fueled by popular media, uh, no pun intended, uh, such as TV shows uh, like the, the Game of Thrones and, and movies like The Hollow Rising, uh, Outlaw King, and Green Knight have piqued uh, curiosity among uh, mead, which is often uh, the object of traditional drinks among those eras. Uh, the fourth reason for, for the rise of mead and mead's popularity is it, uh, it, it has a diverse flavor profile. Now, mead offers a wide range of, of flavor possibilities, from, from traditional honey uh, meads to, to those infused with all kinds of fruits and spices, herbs, and even, like I said earlier, hops. This wide variety really appeals to a broad audience looking for unique and, and complex beverages. Now, reason number five is the, the value system of today's young adult demographics. Mead has found a, a particular following among young adults, uh, especially those interested in crafts and artisanal uh, products. The beverage's historical roots and unique flavors appeal to, to this demographic in particular and their desires for authenticity and uh, novelty. Despite these various reasons, meat is still a specialty product rather than a mainstream stream beverage and uh, potential co consumers are still not very knowledgeable on the subject. If you haven't tried mead, I'm guessing you, you watch this video because you're at least somewhat interested in it. I really encourage you to, to find a, a meadery near you and start exploring. <laughs> Folks, this was a really fun episode for me to put together and to le learn about, and it brought back a ton of great memories for me. Let me know what you think about me in, in the comments, and if you happen to make it out to, to a festival or a fair, I'd love to hear all about your experience. Cheers. Hey, Posse, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please consider hitting subscribe. Oh, and be sure to check out these other videos. Until next time, cheers.